What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our college football channel. Time for my week nine predictions. Going to give you a score predictions for 10 of the biggest games this week. Talked about it on the upset alert video. Um, I do think we're going to see some upsets this weekend, and I'm going to give you some of those in my predictions. We'll start with Oklahoma, Kansas, noon Eastern time on Fox. Oklahoma favored by nine and a half points in this game. I was all set to pick Kansas in this game. I was all set to pick Kansas in this game. And then Oklahoma struggled last week. And you'd say, well, that should make you pick Kansas. Well, no, I think it was a wake-up call for Oklahoma. I think they, they have a close win. They will be more focused for this game. Um, again, when you're picking college football games, there's so much more to it than X's and O's. There is uh, the mentality of these teams, uh, the psychological effects of, of these games. I mean, you have to look into that. And I think people a lot of times miss that. Uh, but having that close game... I think we'll have them focus for this game, and it's going to make them not overlook Kansas. So I was going to pick, again, before that game, I was going to pick Kansas this week. Uh, Jalen Daniels also banged up, hasn't played all year. I mean, he has played at times, but hasn't played every game this year. Uh, so will he play? I have no idea. And so there's a lot of question marks there for Kansas with him not potentially not playing a quarterback. If he plays, uh, I think Kansas has a real shot in this game. But I'm going to go with Oklahoma. I think that they will be focused again from last week. It's close. I think they have to fight hard in this one. But I think they find a way to get it done on the road, 34-29. to 29. Next, Georgia-Florida, 3.30 Eastern time on CBS. Georgia favored by 14.5. I think these are two good defenses. Now, Georgia's defense maybe hasn't been as good as, as it was the last couple of years. But I, they're pre still pretty solid. And they'll be ready to go for a rivalry game, obviously. Florida's defense has been pretty good as well, though. I think this will be a good hard-fought game. Uh, another good one in this rivalry. I think Georgia is still the better team. I think it is going to be competitive and close, but I think Georgia uh, finds a way to, to get a field goal to maybe push the score out to 10 in the fourth quarter, and they win it 27-17. Again, I'm not expecting a lot of points in this one. Next, we've got BYU-Texas, 3.30 Eastern time on ABC. Texas favored by 19.5. No Quinn Ewers. That definitely is going to be interesting here. Uh, BYU has looked really good at times this year. Which BYU team shows up? Which Texas team shows up? Because they didn't look great last week, even with Quinn Ewers in there. Um, I think it's a pretty fairly close game, but I think Texas will take care of business. I'm going to go 37-24. Uh, really interested to see Malik Murphy. You know, we haven't seen him play a whole lot, uh, but I think he'll be ready for this one. I, I think he's going to uh, potentially surprise some people and play well. Next up, we got Oregon, Utah, 3.30 Eastern time on Fox. Oregon favored by six and a half points in this game. On the road, tough place to play. Uh, I just wonder, will Dan Lanning choke again? How many times has he made stupid decisions going forward on fourth down and even doing it late in the game? Uh, you don't want to do that against a good Utah defense. I think he'll learn from that. I think he'll trust his defense. Um, if it does come down to that, Utah has been getting better on offense, but I still think Oregon has an advantage on both sides of the ball, slight advantage on both sides of the ball. A couple of big plays could definitely turn this one, but I'm going to say the more talented team overall wins it. I'm going Oregon 26-23. Close game, but I've got the Ducks and their defense coming up with a stop late to win it. Next, we've got Duke versus Louisville, 3.30 Eastern time on ESPN. Louisville is favored by four and a half points in this game. No... Riley Leonard for Duke, that's definitely going to be a problem for them offensively, but their defense will be good. I think it's a low-scoring game. Both defenses will play well. Um, at the end of the day, though, I think Louisville, because they're playing at home, I think they play well at home, and they get the win here. 23-19, again, close, low-scoring. I'm going with the Cardinals. Next up, we've got Tennessee, Kentucky, 7 o'clock Eastern time on ESPN. Tennessee favored by 3.5 points in this game. This is a tough one for me. This is probably the toughest pick of the week. Um, again, I don't know which Kentucky team's going to show up. They look great against Florida, terrible against Georgia. Tennessee coming off of Alabama, look great in the first half, terrible in the second half. Uh, you know, I, it's just it's really hard to predict. But Tennessee, for the most part, has kind of dominated this series, and I think they get it done. I think they're the better overall team. Their defense is so much better than it was last year, and I think, I think that's the difference. I think the Vols win it 31-20. Uh, going with Tennessee. Next up, we've got Ohio State, Wisconsin, 7.30 Eastern time on NBC. Ohio State's favored by 14.5. Uh, their offense still trying to get going. I think that both defenses will play well in this game. Uh, Wisconsin, without their starting quarterback, Tanner Mordecai, 
I think they'll struggle to score against a really good Ohio State defense. So lower scoring game, but Ohio State, I mean, they really have no business losing this one. They should win. I'm going to go 26 to 17. Pretty close, but Buckeyes get the win. Next, Colorado UCLA, 7:30 Eastern Time on ABC. UCLA favored by 17 points. That's a big number. Uh, Colorado. You know, you look at, at what they did against TCU and Nebraska. It turns out those teams aren't great. Uh, they almost come back and beat USC. It turns out USC isn't great. Um, and maybe this team was overrated. But I think the loss to Stanford is going to have them kind of, you know, the way Dion handled that, I think he's a great coach. Uh, I think he's going to have this team really prepared, ready to go. Uh, UCLA, I, I think they're maybe a little overrated. Uh, they've, they've done a nice job getting to 5-2. and two, But I think Colorado actually comes out, and, and it's kind of like that TCU game. They shock everybody. And they pull off a big upset on the road. I'm going Colorado 34, UCLA 31. Primetime game. Eyes will be on this one. And I think Colorado gets it done. I'm going to say they upset UCLA. Then we go to North Carolina, Georgia Tech, 8 o'clock Eastern time on the ACC Network. North Carolina favored by 11 and a half. Uh, can they bounce back from the loss last week? I think they do. I think Georgia Tech will give them a fight. I don't expect this to be an easy win. But I think they'll, they'll have just enough. Uh, I think Drake may make some plays. They get the win. 35 to 27 the final here. And then finally, Oregon State at Arizona, 10:30 Eastern Time. Oregon State favored by three on this game's on ESPN. A late night game. These Pac-12 after dark games, they're almost over. We've only got a few weeks left of the season. And then of course, no more Pac-12. So enjoy it while it lasts. I actually think Arizona gets this win. I think Oregon State is a little overrated. They're a really good team, but uh, I think 6-1, and one, you see them, they're ranked number 11. I think they're a top 25 team. I don't know if they're really that close to being a top 10 team. And Arizona has played really, really well. They've had some close, close games where they almost pulled off upsets. I think finally they get it done. They knock off Oregon State, and they get the big upset. 27-24, the final score in this game. So I think we will see that upset. Might see some other upsets in there as well. Again, I think this is going to be a pretty crazy weekend uh, with a, a lot of upsets, a lot of really good games, and uh, enjoy it. Again, it's going to be over before you know it. We're already to week nine, so enjoy this weekend. Give me your predictions on these 10 games down in the comments below.